Welcome back to the channel Inspired by r, &R. My name is Rich. I'm a soon-to-be father. So today we're going to be showing you what's inside of my dad bag for the hospital. Let's do this. First things first, we got to go to the car. Let's go. Right, guys, so we're in the car now. These are just a few things that we have to have before baby gets here. This right here is the car seat base. We have a Duna, so the car seat itself, car seat stroller isn't in here right now, but this is the base for it. So that's why you just see that here right now. Babies can be very unpredictable. So what we have, just in case baby wants to come while we're on the way to the hospital, we have some plastic bags right here to place in the seat under Ronya, as well as a towel that we place on top of those plastic bags, just in case baby wants to come. It'll kind of save the integrity of the seat. It's their airways, their nose and their throat and everything, um, just in case baby does come in the car. So while we're in the process of calling 911, whatever the case may be, We'll make sure those airways are clear so that baby can breathe properly. As I was saying, baby can come at any time. So the last thing we want to check is make sure that the gas tank is totally full because we never know when we have to get in and head to the hospital as quickly as possible. All right, so I wanted to let you know that I've left links down in the description box below to all the products that I've packed in my bag. Now let's get it. All right, and the first thing is a pillow. We got this from Walmart. Reason why I got a pillow is because they said that the pillows at the hospital aren't the most comfortable. We also have here, put that down, um, an oversized throw. As you guys probably know, hospitals get very cold during the daytime and at night, and we're not trying to freeze in there. So that's why I have this. I'm also bringing my iPad just to keep me entertained. Don't know how long I'm gonna be in there waiting on the sun to arrive. I got these Raycon ear earbuds from Amazon. Um, definitely don't want to disturb anyone while I'm listening to music or watching Netflix, whatever the case may be. So these will definitely come in handy. I'm taking a snack back because I know I'm going to get hungry and I'm not trying to go back and forth to the cafeteria every 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> Here are all my snacks. Got some Chex Mix, Belveda, some crunchy granola bars here. Pretty much some liquid IV for the most part. Some Reese's Pieces. Little candy, Jolly Ranchers, a snicker in there, nothing too crazy, some mints, and some beef jerky. Here's some water, because you have to stay hydrated. First and foremost, I got some patches here. Two of these came on the bag. This one right here I ordered separately from Amazon. Inside of this section right here, I have my Raycon earbuds. You guys have already seen these, but this is where they're gonna be, right here. The next section below is gonna be right here. And in here, I just have like some toiletries. Um, I got some coconut oil mouthwash, little travel size. We also have some fresh mint and propolis toothpaste, along with a toothbrush, pretty disposable. I'm not too big of a fan of these energy shots, but I may need one, especially with the crying baby in the hospital. So I have a couple five hour energy drinks. You guys know of any like more health conscious ones, drop those down below as well. And last in this little section of the backpack, I did get some lip balm. I also ordered this off of Amazon as well. All right, I'm taking these Clorox disinfecting wipes so I can sanitize the bathroom and the bathroom floor while we're in the hospital. This came with the backpack. I'm gonna put my dirty clothes in here. Nice little drawstrings and everything. So that'll be pretty neat. All right, I have my pajamas right here along with my underwear. Can't forget these. These are some very affordable shower shoes right here. And some socks. We have here some facial cleaner from Marlo. Facial scrub. Some lotion. And inside of this container that we got from Amazon is some body wash. Hey, fellas, it's a very, very good idea to get your wife, your lady, your girlfriend um, a push gift. This is my wife's push gift, and I'm going to give this to her at the hospital after baby is here. All right, this is just a toiletry bag right here. I have some uh, deodorant, some Harris deodorant, some beard balm, some stuff on my hair. Ron, you got this for me. Can too. I have a face mask as well as like some under eye collagen mask. Got this just, you know, I know I'm gonna probably be tired and we're gonna be taking pictures. I wanna make sure I'm not looking too crazy during our pictures. 
Lastly, I have two outfits, something very comfortable. Just got two pairs of joggers, two t-shirts. Want to make sure that I had something that wasn't gonna be, you know, too heavy, but still keep me warm. Oh, can't forget about my bonnet right here. Some of us fellas, we gotta keep the hair right. All right. Looks like we're almost packed. Let's see if everything fits. And it does. Here's my bag. It's pretty heavy right now, but you can see this. It's gonna come in handy. Um, not just for the birth, but also like when we travel. That's why I have this little airline tag here. Also off of Amazon with all of our information on the back. Lastly, I got this automatic shoe cover dispenser for all of our guests to use when they come visit us and the new baby once he arrives. It was super easy to put together. It will help us keep the floors clean longer since I do understand how everyone likes to take their shoes off. Here's my wife demonstrating how easy it works. We both thought this was a great bonus buy. And there you have it guys, bags are packed, we're ready to go. If you guys have any suggestions of what else I should maybe pack in my bag, please let me know. My wife is also a first time mom and she will actually gonna be doing a video as well. Um, if you have any suggestions for her, please uh, feel free to leave some comments on her video also. Um, I think we're gonna link this somewhere around here. I don't know yet. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, peace.